Hello my friends, this is Carlos Vargas for Container Kingdom Ninja again and today we are going to be working on a UCP environment and enabling the new VMware plugin for Docker containers. This will allow us to leverage persistent storage on our container environments by leveraging the integration into the ESX server. So let me show you my environment right now. I have, uh, as part of my UCP environment, that is a Hitachi Unified Compute Platform that allow me to have hypervisors and managers centrally for my enterprise. And I have an environment with two blades and I have several VMs. I have several clusters of Docker environments. I have also Mesosphere running here. But right now, what I want to do is I, I want to start by downloading the plugin so I can install it in this nodes. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to connect to one of my VMs that I have open and I have it here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to download the plugins directly from VMware. And the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to just make a directory and I'm going to change the directory and then the first thing I'm going to download uh, the plugins for the ESX server and there I have it so if I go and look at it now I have my plugin downloaded and I'm going to log in to my ESX server. So let me go SSH. And this is a brand new host. So I'm going to type my super secret password. And then the first thing that I need to do, because this plugin is provided by the community, um, I need to enable community support on packages. So the way that I will do that is that I do ESX CLI software septan set and I need to set the level to community supported. There you go. Then now I need to copy the file. But I need to know where I'm going to copy the file. So the first thing that I need to know to do is check my uh, different data stores that I have available and I have different data stores so I'm gonna call I'm gonna copy it to vSAN data store so I'm gonna do SCP and the file that I just uh, copied And I'm going to copy that to Okay, so I just copy the file. Now let's go and connect back to the server. Now let's go to that directory volumes. And I have the file right there at the bottom. So how do we install it? ESX CLI software VIP install and because this was provided by the community I need to tell it not to check the signature and now I have to give the full path for the location of the file VMFS volumes Visa and data store and then
and there we have it we have then the file installed and now we have the host ready so when I install a VM I can now interact with this host okay now that we finish installing the plugin let's go back and log into one of the other VMs that we have ready for this demo Sage and this VM have Docker but there's nothing running right now so let me just enlarge this window a little bit so I'm gonna download the basic um, BCBox image There we have it. The image just finished downloading. Let's now download the Ubuntu image. So now we have our images. So the next step that we need to do is that we need to get our plugin so we can install it on our Ubuntu machine. And I'm going to download it from GitHub. And this all the instructions are documented so you can download it automatically. And after I download the plugin, all that I have to do is just do a quick installation. So sudo vpkg i There we go. So now we have everything that we need. So let me do a quick reboot of this VM. They come pretty quick. Uh, our infrastructure handle it. And in under five seconds, they're up and running again. Okay, so let's create a volume on Docker. So let's go Docker, volume, create. And we're gonna use the drive, we're gonna use the driver for VMware, that is VMDK in this case, dash dash driver equal VMDK dash dash. I'm gonna put it a simple name equal my volume and I'm gonna give it a size of let's say just 10 gigabytes and this will be whatever you're gonna use so if you have a database that's gonna be running in there you may need 10 if you have just some files you may need less in this case I'm just gonna do 10 just for this demo and right now I just created a new volume so I could check my volumes by saying docker volume and that will show me the volumes that I have created if I go back here to my VMware environment under files container or a folder called docvols and there's a location that the VMware plugin will put for your volumes that are created for Docker. So any new volumes are put under your vSAN data store, data store under the DocVols volume. Now that we know where the volumes are, let's go back and let's create a container so you could use that storage okay so I want to create a new container and attach the volume that I just created so let's do the docker wrong and I'm gonna put the volume that I just created and I want to tell it where do I want it mounted so in this case I want to put my vol where I want it and I want a BC box container and that will go and get the storage formatted and then mounted so right now I have different storage that is attached to this container so if I ch 
change to see the my ball it's a brand new volume so I'm gonna do touch new file and I'm going to then right now there's nothing on that file see it's completely empty I'm gonna I got this is a test with docker and VMware I'm gonna send it to new file and I can cat new file and you can see that the information is right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get out of this container and I'm gonna spin up a completely different container but in, instead of busybox I'm gonna use the Ubuntu image remember that we downloaded two images so completely different container this could be that you have different information in there And now, when this container spins up, I'm going to go to the same location. And there's my file. So even though this is a simplistic um, test, you can see that you can leverage now persistent storage across containers and across container reboot. So in that case, if you need to save your data, you have it and it's stored, like we mentioned, right here in your VMware um, Visa and Store. Thank you very much for this and hope that you check out our videos. Thank you.